Now imagine that you want to show the results for the whole month and you want to pinpoint where the weekends are. So we want to achieve something like that. We want to have the sales in blue. So this is a line which goes up and down. And then we want to have in reddish suggested which days are weekends. So this enables us to interpret fast the chart. So let's see how we can shift this effect again with a small trick. So please go to the sheet weekends and here we've got in column I sales. And then in column J, we have done an artificial column that we will need, which is called weekend. It has zero if this is regular weekday. So outside of weekend and one if this is weekend. And again, this is created using a simple if option. So first we check whether the day is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on and so forth. They're coded with numbers. So from one to five, we've got the regular week. So from Monday to Friday, and then, then six and seven are weekend. So if this formula based on the date returns something above or equal to six, we get one. So this is a weekend. So once we've got the data ready, we can try to create the chart. So let's select the column I and J. Then let's insert any chart, doesn't really matter. We've got something like that. And we will go to the upper mini and change the type of the chart. We'll go to combo. And now we will have the sales as a line. And then the weekends will be stacked column. And we want to have a secondary axis. So we roughly got the results we want to have. Since the second column is from 0 to 1, it will be column if it is a weekend. And it will be empty, so white, if this is a regular day in the week. We currently see which day is Saturday and Sunday. But since we want to have a better visibility of the blue line and also to have a weekend period and not Saturday and Sunday, we will try to play with the width of this column. So let's select the series, then right click with the mouse and go again to format data series. And here we will play with the gap width. We will decrease it. So now, as you can see, they merge into one area. So we have managed to have just weekends as one. And now just let's change the color to less intense. And let's maybe pick this one. And there you've got the effect that we wanted to achieve. So first we created artificial column that would enable us to draw the weekend. Then we have inserted a chart. We have changed it into combo chart in which we have selected a line to represent sales and column weekends. We have used 100% stacked column. So the column goes from zero to one and we have used second axis. After that, we have decreased the width of the chart and changed the color. So now try to achieve the same results using the data in the sheets weekends.